This conference will now be recorded. All right, thank you for joining me for this quick um, live trading. Just want to go over a few trade ideas and then put on a trade. The market is obviously still pretty strong. I don't trust the market going up this much with still so much pain that's to potentially come. Hopefully we have found a bottom, but I don't I think we, like I was saying the last couple of days, I think we might be going up too fast. Uh, if you if you think about it, the, the S and P is barely just over just uh, just under 20 percent um, down now from the from its highs. I think we were way too high at one at, when we hit the highs about a little over 30 days ago. Now with all this is happening, basically the world shut down. We are uh, we are acting like, in my opinion, everything is great. We're too high. But with that said. Um, I have some trade ideas that I was looking at. First, I was looking at this S, this this XLE. This is the um, energy sector ETF, and I was looking at the chart on this on Thinkorswim, and it has went down. Um, when, you know, during this down move, it was down almost uh, just under 23, 22.88. Um, so this morning, I recommended that you sell the 23. It's a little higher right now, so you're not going to be able to get the 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 101 that I mentioned. If you're going to do the 23, I would encourage you to let it come to you. See if the market comes back down today. Um, if not, you will probably have some opportunity tomorrow or sometime this week when we uh, when we're down pretty decently. Um, we will see. All right. So if uh, if the 23 is too close to you because it did go below 23 just a few a few uh, a little you know a couple weeks ago, so you can try the 22 and still get some decent premium in this account that I have, which is a small account that I'm demonstrating in. This is the buying power. That's not too bad. So this is actually a good trade. We might consider that um, as our trade on, on this um, this live trading here. Um, also wanted to look at the, the NASDAQ because the NASDAQ has been so high. This is the trade that I recommended this morning, um, selling a call spread at the 994.50 with 45 days to go. So you can still get some pretty good premium on this because volatility is still high and the NASDAQ has been going up and, and buying the 9,500. So this morning I was looking at 340. It's only trading at 250 now, if that is correct. So I would, uh, volatility has come out of the market a little bit. As you can see here, that's a pretty big drop in the volatility cash. And then obviously the, the volatility futures is, is even lower. So uh, that's, that's why that, but if, if you're going to do this trade, I would still let it come to me, see if it will, uh, if that price is going to pop back up any. Uh, I was also looking at and I didn't put this on the on the um, on the trade ideas today, but iron condor is off. So let's say going down here and which is pretty far and selling a um, 50 point wide put spread. So just going down to the I'm looking at this actually this this 10 delta here. So selling this one and buying the 50 delta. So I talk about selling between the 10 and the 15 delta in, in course three. Sometime I show that on trade ideas. I showed a, I showed at least one of those today. This is a this is a trade that I'm interested in doing. Um, selling it at the seven or 750, uh, receiving at least 140 after fees and commissions, and the buying power is about this much. So the next time of trade I was looking at doing this morning is what I recommended, but kind of um, changing it a little bit. So I said 45 days on the sheet. I meant 44. So I hope that you guys noticed that um, on the sheet I sent selling the 14 uh, put and buying the 12 put. So this is obviously the 10 delta as well. And the the price is not this one. 
this one's based on the future here. This is this future is going to expire, and, this, and these options are based on this one. So this is 24, almost 24 and a half that it's trading at. So this is pretty far still. This is like $10 drop still before more than a $10 drop before this short strike here, before this short strike is even hit. Okay. So I like this trade, um, but let's just say that this this buying power issue is too much for this account. So you can also decide to reduce the width and lower your buying power here. So your max loss is under a thousand, buying power lowered, uh, but you're still getting 160 here. Um, I would drop it a little bit more for this size account and maybe go to um, the, the 1211 and this buying power would drop to this and you, your max loss is still gonna be under a thousand. Uh, the 900 here and you'll still get at least a hundred dollars right so this is the trade that i like doing in this account uh, today so i'm going to try this one and then we're going to hedge it using the uso all right so we're going to send this this is going to be over 12 percent on buying power as you can see here and let's see if we can get filled and for demonstration purposes we're going to go to uh, working here and we're going to lower this to 10 and we will get filled at 10 unfortunately um, all right so i'm going to lower this here and i'm going to get it obviously a little less than 100 i'm selling that that got filled and then now i'm going to go to the uso and since i received about 91 dollars i can do uh, 30 percent of that um, or I can do you know 20 to 30 percent to hedge. I'm going to go to this 40. I'm going to go to this 38 days because that was 44. I'm going to go a little closer, and then I'm going to use about let's say 20 dollars to hedge. So let me just buy this 350, sell this this one here. All right, so that's a little bit more than 30 dollars. Um, let's see what. If I do this here, and that's a little less, but that's only going to give me a little, a, a small amount of credit. Um, so I'm going to have to go to, I want to use more than 20, so let's go to this one here, and there we go. All right, so we're going to buy this one. I'm going to see if this hit, this hit just a little bit here. All right, selling 17. All right, so I'm going to let that get filled. I don't like that anymore. One second. Let's just try the 25 here. And I'm going to actually just use this $24 because I want to hedge this a little bit more. All right, so let's see if this gets filled. And all right, so. They're gonna make me go up just a little bit here and I will get filled. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit because I'm not even give too much more than that. And that should have should have filled. All right, so with that said, let me open up for any questions regarding any of the trades I just looked at some of that I sent over today. Any any questions regarding this? Yeah, O'Brien, oh, I have a question. This is Tim. Okay. Hey Tim. Hey, good morning. Yeah, how do you track these trades? So what do you mean? How do I track them? Well, so you just—I'm sure you have many trades going on, but so you just made the, uh, you know, the, that first trade and then your hedge. How are you tracking these to, um, basically just to keep a log of them? How are you logging these? Oh, so you just you're just looking at the position tab, right? So, okay. Uh, so that's the only thing you use is just the position tab. Correct. So I okay. I, look, I do exactly what I indicate in lesson four, of course one. I look at the the position tab and I determine you know um, how much premium I have, how closer to at the money I am, things like that, right? So um, so for a, a 
for example, if I went to here and I just say I had this, I got this ES position on here. So what I do is like what I talked about in the um, lesson four, I'll look and see how close is my short puts to have the money. Um, so in this case, I have no short puts, but I do have a short call and this is a three delta. Right? So it's no, I wouldn't consider this an any risk is what I was talking about last night of uh, the three different things. We have green, yellow, and red. Uh, green is zero to 15, yellow is 16 to 30, and anything over 30 is red. So in this case, I'm worried about this position. I'm just waiting for a good time to take it off. Um, and that's that's how I monitor all the positions. And, and, um, and so you, you should never, you know, uh, not know what's going on because you should be looking at your your portfolio each day, uh, each position. Okay. Thank you. You're, Appreciate you're that. Welcome. No worries. Um, so in in this in this account, this is um, demonstration account, small account. I have three positions in, and this is the one that I'm trying to get. Uh, this is uh, a put spread that I sold. Excuse me, a naked put in use USO. This is the ES I just showed you, and this is the, the CL that just got filled, right? Um, so looking at all of this, this is telling me that this is basically flat, this is flat, um, and it's up a little bit since I put it on, and then activity right here is still trying to get filled on this working order. So I, the mid is 23, this is 25. I'm just trying to get filled on it to just to hedge this position here. There you go. All right. So any other questions this um, this morning? All right. So if we don't have any more questions, I thank you for joining me for this quick little live trading. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these um, going forward. So. And you can participate, great. If you can't, I'm going to uh, add these to YouTube. All right. Thank you very much. Try to have a great day. I'll check in with you a little later.